Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Today, we're going to be reviewing Matty Hapoya's new Cinelut for Sony. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. That's right, everybody. Today, we're going to be reviewing Matty Hapoya's S-Log3 Cinelut for Sony cameras. That's right. So we're going to have a couple of examples. We're going to go through the S Log 3 S Cinetone normal. We're going to go through the S Log 3 S Cinetone with plus saturation 15. And we're going to go through the S Log 3 S Gamut 3 Cine. So we're going to go with the normal S Log picture. Then we're going to go with the standard Rec 709 conversion. And then we're also going to put on top of each of those picture profiles the Sony looks which Matty has developed so let's start off with run the music and have a look Now, tell me down in the comments which one was your favorite picture profile, also which was your favorite look or combination of both. Put that down in the comments below. So here are my thoughts. Both the Cinetone profiles, either the saturation plus 15 or the zero saturation, just needed a little adjustment in the contrast levels, a little bit lowering the blacks and a little bit of increasing the highlights. With the S Gamut 3 Cine, much more contrast was needed in post both on the blacks and on the highlights to make the picture more pleasing, in my opinion, to the eye. Now, with the film looks, it's totally personal choice. 
probably the favorite out of all of them for me was the teal and orange and however that in my eyes again looked best in the option of the Ascamet 3 Cine. Now for comparison what I'm going to do from right now is show you some example of my LUTs which I've developed and here are a couple which are going to be on the screen. The difference in my LUTs is you only need one adjustment layer and one LUT to rule them all whereas in Matty's version you have to kind of have two adjustment layers almost you need the base grade and then the, the look that you want. Now I haven't played yet with the two layer options for LUTs I've just stuck with the one because it makes my workflow much quicker. So after seeing all of that, you know, put down in the comments. I'm not afraid of comments. So put down in the comments, do you prefer Matty's LUTs or my LUTs for the look itself? Let me know down below. That's going to wrap it up for now and I'll catch you all in the next one everybody. Goodbye for now.